Hey guys, this is Nefarious411 and welcome to episode 88 of my modded survival series. In the previous episode, we were able to carve out this area and uh, this is going to be our throne room. And I have, in between episodes, laid out the, uh, the rest of the floor and I actually do like this a lot. Uh, there's probably a couple of changes that I would like to make, however, uh, because just having this long run of carpet... Eh, I don't know. It just seems kind of plain. <laughs> so maybe what I want to do is probably change the radius considerably lower. Let's see if I can uh, get rid of some of this carpet because I have an idea. I have to figure out how far back to actually take this though. Um marked it on the floor and I just can't remember where that mark was uh, a little bit farther maybe up oh, there it is all right cool so what I'm going to do is probably dip this down just a little bit so I'm just gonna convert all of this carpet here with stone I'm only doing that if you remember from the uh, previous episode is because carpet is terrible terrible to pick up. So I use uh, this exchanger to uh, convert it into a block and that will allow me to at least pick it up a little bit quicker. There we go. I guess I could uh, change my radius up a little bit. There we go. This will make it a little bit faster. Oh, I'm out of blocks. Let me grab those. There we go. Cool. So now I should be able to at least make this a little bit deeper. Uh, I think I would kind of like it um, maybe go all the way out here. So let me go ahead and pull up this stuff too. I guess I could uh, do this to make it a little bit faster. There we go. Much, much better. Cool, and one more, nice. All right, so what I plan to do, get rid of these, um, one more. Let me go ahead and grab my stairs real quick. I am just going to make this go down. One level, pretty simple, not a lot. There we go. Oop, that is not what I wanted, like there. Cool. And I think this is uh, at least a good design to kind of break up the uh, the monotony of just having a uh, flat floor. Uh, this will at least uh, give it a little bit more depth, and I think that would be good for this room because nobody likes boring floors or walls. So that's what I try to do in a lot of my builds. There we go. And this is probably got to be a little bit more difficult, so I might have to uh, put a couple of blocks underneath. There we go. Probably should have used stone, because that's visible down there. Alright. Bam. And bam. Cool. Oop. Misplaced that. And there we go. Cool. So that is the general outline. Of course, I missed one. I wondered why I had an additional stair in my inventory. Um, you know, I might actually go a little bit different on this. I wonder what it would look like if I were to come out one more block in. That might actually look a little bit better. Let me uh, do that. There we go. Fortunately, it doesn't take much to uh, replace the uh, the stairs in this way. And you, cool. And one more, I think.
Let's take a look at that. All right, I think that looks a little bit, a little bit better. Um, so what I want to do now is probably exchange. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> um, that's fine. We can work with that. Um, maybe. Let me uh, let me replace that back with just normal stone because I meant to decrease my radius down to one. Otherwise, I will end up doing that again. It's no fun for anybody. There we go. Let's just continue this pattern all the way through here. Cool. So now we just need to place it on the stairs and this should be done for the rug down the center of the room and that looks pretty nice. So now I uh, kind of just want to extend the uh, andesite all the way around. There we go. I'm actually going to skip that block. Maybe put that poison stone or whatever it's called in that place. That way it kind of matches the pattern that I have going here, like this, and stair, poison, there we go, cool, nice. All right, and now um, this pattern is probably, ew, that looks, does that look all right? That might look all right. Just continue the other pattern just like that. Yeah, I think this will work. Cool. Um, wrong place. I need those guys. There we go. Nice. All right, so I also thought maybe I shouldn't have this the same texture. So I was looking at these uh, large ornate stone uh, brick tiles. And I think I'm going to actually use this instead. So let me go ahead and lay one down and I should be able to uh, just right click, copy that pattern throughout. There we go. Makes it so much easier to use the exchanger. And there we go. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a shadow down there. Um, kind of breaks up the uh, monotony of having this uh, pattern throughout and I really really like this pattern I think it looks really cool so you're just greeted in the room and then you can come up here see the king get killed <laughs> executed by the um, king's orders I don't know but I really do like this and I am probably going to uh, do some similar things in this room probably have quite a bit of like uh, archways going in and out things like that but let me go ahead and clean up my inventory grab all of the uh, materials for my next step and I will be right back all right I am back I didn't actually get a lot of materials I probably didn't actually get any because <laughs> um, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for this uh, next step I kind of want to have an additional level uh, maybe an additional level maybe somewhere up here or so I was thinking that this would be good for some sort of um, balcony area but I kind of want stairs up to it and I probably put the stairs maybe back here somewhere um, haven't figured out like how big of the stairs I want um, probably not as big as the uh, walkway over there but I could easily create um, probably continue this andesite um, look and feel just like this and come up here like so there we go I'm gonna break these off because I think I am going to grab the other uh, wedges that I have in here and I kind of use those as I did in the uh, that one big hallway that I have and use these kind of as the other uh, railing it might look weird 
I guess it doesn't look too bad from over here. Um, need to figure out how high to do this. I was thinking maybe a little bit higher than this, but maybe not as high as that. Um, I could bring it another block this way. I don't know if I want to have it that thick, because I could bring this in a little bit and just have a, a smaller railing. I guess it really depends on how I'm going to uh, do these stairs, so maybe I should uh, pop out some stairs real quick just to make sure that this is exactly what I want. There we go. Oops, did a little bit too much. There we go. Yeah, because right there you can actually see the stair, and I was thinking maybe underneath I would probably have these uh, slopes here as well. And that might look kind of weird. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have it like this. I think that would be the better plan. That way it's like all smooth underneath. There we go. And for that material, I might, I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick with this. I could change this out later. So now it's just a matter of figuring out how, oops, how tall I'm going to want this. I think I double placed a block there. Yeah, there were two andesite blocks in there for some reason. There we go. And take those guys out. Put some wedges there and there. Yeah, that looks kind of good. Um, may switch that out. Maybe I'll use that material. I am not sure right now. Um, if I were to continue this out though, how high am I going to want this? If I do it right there, that might be high enough. I don't know. Possibly. Possibly. Um, let me see. Do I have any andesite on me? I want to make some pillars because I think I like the other uh, pillar idea that I had over there. But uh, maybe have the other uh, pillar in inset a little bit. Just like so might have a uh, few pillars in here maybe at that poison what is that called the poison stone brick might have it just at that point that should suffice there we go that might work so then somebody can uh, come up here and crowd can see the uh, the king from up here. I don't know if any subjects would be allowed to go up there or not, but I do kind of like that. Of course, I will have to have a, uh, a railing on this side as well. I don't have enough blocks right now. I'll have to uh, grab some, but this will at least allow me to uh, figure out if this is the exact size that I want and these are really hard to place just like the other stairs are yeah I could probably live with this and obviously I would want to have something on both sides so I could take that down I might have to uh, push this wall out a little bit further. I don't know how far I want to push it out. I might uh, play around with it a little bit um, just to make sure that's what I want. Um, and let me go ahead and do that. Um, let's, let me play around with the other uh, different materials because this is going to get uh, kind of annoying to have a single color throughout here. So I might either change the other uh, railing here to something else or I might change the other uh, stairs to something other than this uh, andesite um, smooth stone. But uh, let me go ahead and make those decisions and I will be back. 
All right, I think I figured out that I'm going to use, uh, what is this called, the uh, stone bricks and fancy arrangement. <laughs> and uh, I think that looks okay. Um, it isn't too light, does isn't too dark. I kind of fear having too many different types of um, patterns in here. They're all square patterns, so it might not be that bad. Um, I might end up changing it out later, but from my experience, um, I end up just sticking with what I have and never changing it. So the odds of me changing it probably slim to none, but I like to think that maybe there might be something else that I'm just missing here. So what I'm doing now is basically just uh, creating this little ledge right here because I don't want to uh, show the other uh, floor in the background. And I was thinking up here just something solid color uh, doesn't have to be uh, fancy stones. I think I have enough patterns everywhere else where just uh, the flat um, pattern up here should be sufficient enough and I was thinking just as I have the, uh, the pattern here I might end up having pattern over here the same way. Put the other uh, stairs right like this. Oops. Kind of hard to place at times. There we go. And I'm not exactly sure what to do about this guy. Can I change that up? don't know if I can change that into anything good. Still haven't figured out how the, uh, the hammer works because shift right click doesn't seem to do anything different. Just seems to cycle through the, the same patterns. Um, so maybe if I did that, see what that looks like. Eh. It's kind of a abrupt change for design, so I might just have a, a solid block there. Um, because I do want to have um, basically a walkway all the way across here. So let me grab my builder's wand real quick and extend this wall out a little bit. Not exactly sure how many of these pieces I have but it might be enough to wrap it all the way around here. I should be able to uh, just throw up stairs along the edge, just like that. There we go. And I might end up having to get more stone. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have enough. Let me grab it out of my network. Just a few stacks should be sufficient enough. And this was, which one was this? Well, I know that the uh, the floor is that one, so I might as well get a uh, block of that, but here's the, uh, the fancy arrangement one. Don't know how many of those I will need. There we go. And eh, that is actually pretty good up there. I like that, I like it a lot. All right, so here I can probably just figure out how far back I actually want this little thing to go. I am not certain. How much walking room do I have down here? Hmm. I might. Oops, I forgot underneath the stairs. Don't want to forget underneath. There we go. Cool. I might actually have maybe some stairs down here. I might raise the back up a little bit and I did run out of stairs. So let me grab some more of that. Let me go ahead and get another hundred cooking up because I will have to repeat this pattern on the other side. And you can see that I uh, laid it out a little bit just because I wanted to see what the uh, symmetry is going to be like. So that looks pretty good from this angle and I am not sure what I'm gonna do here am I going to have it back here as well hmm. 
because I'm probably going to have that flat stone as my surface of choice. And builder's wand. Oop, I ran out again. Here we go. Oop, wrong one. That was sunken stone panel. Let me just go ahead and convert all of these blocks because I have too many types of blocks running around. And that is andesite, so I should probably convert this stuff back into normal andesite. That way I don't get confused. There we go. You can see that I was playing around with different patterns, even the other colored ones, and they look really good. I like them, but I found that the, uh, the stone ones, um, these different colors here, um, contrasted a little bit too much in my room and I just even though I like it I couldn't have it unfortunately there we go and I might extend this out a little bit there we go nice all right so for the top I should have patterns for barriers and these are the carpenters barriers I think these will probably be good enough for the wall up here and using the other uh, carpenters hammer I should be able to uh, convert this into anything that I want I might just convert it into the wall like how do I is there a way to just convert all of them to the same it doesn't look like it so yeah, I might just do it the wall. Here we go. Cool, and it's just like the normal fence, um, like cobblestone fence or something that you would get with um, vanilla, um, where it has the other uh, posts at the end, so that works out pretty well. And I'm going to use the same pattern as over there. So let me go ahead and throw a full stack in here. And I can just follow this all the way across. Just like that. Cool. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to do over here. I assume that that'll just come into play at some point. I don't really need to know what I'm doing for the time being. I wonder if I were to hammer this, convert one of these, will it match the pattern? Yes, it matches the pattern, so probably good to uh, set the pattern before you go a long distance like I did. And I should be able to fill this in. Nice, all right. So this is actually taking uh, pretty good form, um, I could Go ahead and throw the andesite back in here. Grab some of that polished. And that is going to be the same color as the rest of the stairs in this area. I might actually convert these stairs into the uh, polished andesite only because the rest of the stairs are the same. Um, I can probably just take a look real quick to see what that's going to look like. Just throw in a couple of these real quick. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I might actually do that. Actually, to be honest, I think that'll uh, be a little bit cleaner and more consistent with the rest of the room. Nice. All right. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to run too much uh, past time. Um, and I do want to get a little bit more accomplished than what I have right now. So what I'm going to do is probably finish up a large portion of this floor. Um, both sides, I don't, I'll don't. i probably just do that side um, off camera because all it is is a mirror image. Um, so I could do that later. But I do want to uh, at least get the general layout of the walls because I don't want to have um, just normal stone against the walls. Um, I'll probably have something more... Um, brick-like. I don't know if I'm just going to go with the, uh, the normal Minecraft bricks. Um, I could go with the andesite, and I know that those look pretty good. They have more of a 
color. There's like some yellow or green or something in there, like different shades of gray in the wall. And I actually might go with that around the edges. Of course, it's not going to be flat. I'm going to have some dips and curves and stuff like that, just as I did down in this area. Probably not as extensive as this room, but I'll have something um, at least going in and out of the other walls. That way I can actually have some texture to it, some depth. Um, so let me go ahead and do that and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I just wanted to uh, check in real quick, um, show some of my uh, progress. Um, I do have a uh, little bit of design over here that I kind of like. I've been playing around with the, uh, the different blocks and the other uh, different textures, and I think I'm going to go with this little design. Um, as you can see, I have the uh, carpenter's wedges in here. I just uh, have this little um, alcove, if you will. And over here, I'm planning on probably putting um, same sort of decoration that I have elsewhere, uh, probably a bucket of lava and uh, the bars in front of it. I kind of like that um, little idea uh, for the other uh, decoration. I've used it elsewhere and I've probably should just bring it in here as well. Um, and I used my uh, builder's guide here to uh, basically carve out a little section of wall. Um, and I am going to hit the wrong thing and make my dimensions wrong. All right, there we go. So I probably carved out a little bit too much. I'm going to uh, add some of these blocks back. I want to fill in where the white is. Pretty simple from here. And we'll get a, a good sense of what I'm going with. And it replaced it with the wrong block. Could probably, I always forget to do this. I always forget to uh, use my builder's wand and just build up the sides. There we go. That is as much as andesite that I have. Um, I have plenty in my network though, so let me go ahead and carve up a little bit more of the andesite as that was my base uh, material for this room. I just want to make sure that I had plenty of it, and we do. There we go. I should just be able to fly up here, finish out this little section, and there we go. And now it's just a matter of exchanging it. Uh, where my exchanger is, right here. There we go. And filling in the gap. Oop, I forgot this block. That's fine. Nice. So I should be able just to uh, turn the builder's guide off, and we should have this little um, little cutout section. I kind of like it. I've been uh, lining the the tops using the uh, carpenter's stairs. I think that uh, works out really well for this kind of. Um, I don't know what it would be called, just basically at the border around the top. There we go. Cool. And for the uh, material on that, I've been using the uh, poison stone bricks. Makes it a little bit simple. There we go. And see if I have any of those. I have three left. There we go. There. This will work. kind of wish there was a faster way to lay these out, but I don't think there is. There we go. Nice. And I might, I don't know if I will or not, I could put some of these andesite pillars in here. I might, like, uh, change this block out. Eh, that might actually work. And maybe in the center? Yeah, that kind of pulls it pulls it in a little bit, so I probably don't want that. And it looks like I messed up. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Um, I don't know. 
Would it look weird to have it offset in here? It might look weird. Yeah, I don't like it uh, flush against the wall like that, so I'm just gonna take that back out. I might do something different with that. I don't know. Um, I could have one of those little windows in the back. That way I have a little bit of lava that's uh, giving me light in here. And obviously the, uh, the floor in here is going to be converted into these um, same tiles that I had before. But I actually might do something a little different here. Um, let me get rid of this guy real quick. I kind of like that. But I might raise it up just a little bit. So I go out to that edge. There we go. And curve it around like so. Um, ah, ran out. Of course, stairs, hopefully I've made some more. Let's go ahead and grab another hundred. That seems to be a good number. Ugh, there we go. I think I got that. All right. So, um, I do have to uh, figure out a material for this um, raised area. I'm not going to have the uh, andesite like this because I kind of want um, a smooth texture. I am not sure. I'll have to figure that one out, but this is essentially the, uh, the design that I'm going to take um, all the way around. I still have to figure out what I'm going to do here, basically uh, butting up against um, this wall. Um, that's going to be a different episode. But I am going to probably carve out the, uh, the ceiling. I don't know if I'm going to get it all in this episode. But I am going to come here and do something very similar to what I did in that one large hallway. Oops. Come on. And convert this into sphere mode. Sphere, there we go. Right now it's kind of a weird size, but I will probably go the wrong way apparently. I always get that swapped. All right, so what I want to do is come through here and kind of have, you can see it down here, but imagine it on the, uh, the top where I have like an arched ceiling. I can't go too high because of the, uh, the Batania area, but I should be able to at least follow this line and carve out a section. So I am going to cut here and uh, do as much as I can off screen, and I'll be back and show you the results. All right, I am back, and I... <laughs> I have done quite a bit of work, as you can tell. So I basically uh, used the uh, the builder's guide and hollowed out the entire area. Um, took me quite a while, and I'm not going to lie with that. Definitely took a while. Um, so the uh, the things that I'm I've done, I actually had to move this little area over like three blocks because it was kind of annoying that it was a little off center. So for symmetry purposes, I went ahead and uh, moved it, centered it up with the other uh, ceiling and uh, basically repeated the design that I had from this side over there and uh, just have a little walkway right here. I think that uh, will work out pretty well. Have the this little area. I'm thinking about uh, probably putting some um, areas in here just as I have up here like little recesses um, I'll have some in this area and I think that would uh, work out pretty well um, and what else obviously I still need to uh, do the mirror image on this side but before I do the mirror image I still need to figure out a few things um, I kinda want the uh, well obviously I want to get 
this a little bit more connected with the uh, the dome so I need to find some elegant way probably start um, curving up um, let's see something like this maybe then I can uh, knock out this little bit down here some way to probably dome that a little bit more make it connect into the uh, the ceiling a little bit better uh, might have to do something similar to this side maybe uh, stretch this dome so that it uh, meets over here I know that it's all one color for now um, I might change it out with a, a different pattern or something like that, but I'm really undecided right now. I'm just happy that at least the, uh, the bulk of the, uh, the build is uh, complete on this side. Um, I still have some uh, decorations to do, obviously. And uh, over here with the, uh, the throne, I'm actually thinking of doing something similar to this, um, this little curved section. I have something very, very similar to that for where the uh, the king will sit, or me, if I'm the king. Um, so I think that would uh, work out pretty well. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you could rate and comment down below, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you like the series, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But for now, this is goodbye.